What's up, creatives? Welcome to The Tiffy Show. Today, I'm going to be giving you the top five bars to visit when you come to Studio City, located in Los Angeles. Welcome to Studio City, a suburb of Los Angeles, just right over the hill from Hollywood. This wonderful area used to be called Laurelwood until 1927 when Max Sennett, a film producer, bought a lot, which is now the CBS Studio Center, and the area around it was renamed Studio City. I love Studio City because it offers everything in a small area. It has restaurants, bars, delicious desserts, fun things to do. You actually never have to go into the other parts of Los Angeles. And today we are going to be going over the top five bars to visit when you come here so that you can get your drink on and you never have to go to Hollywood. So come along with me. A wonderful way to get around in Studio City or anywhere in LA is the birds. Um, they're motorized scooters that you can use an app and just get around place to place. And we're actually gonna go to our first bar on the birds. After that, we'll be taking ride share and lifts, but to get the experience, you can use these to go to restaurants or any attraction in Studio City. And they're a lot, a lot of fun. So just make sure that you use them before you start drinking, like we're going to do to our first location. Before we embark on our Studio City bar crawl, we are going to make a pit stop at Pablito's Tacos and fill our belly so that we're not so drunk and wasted after all of this that we don't know what we're doing. Um, they're a great street food option if you're here and they're affordable. Tacos start at $3. I mean, you can't really get those prices anywhere in LA and they're delicious and she actually makes the tortillas like on site, which I love. So if you are starting in Studio City, definitely check them out and get your tacos and stuff before you head to these bars. And we're gonna jump on these birds and head to the first bar right now. This is Rocco's Tavern, and this is where you go if you want the local spot of Studio City. It is affordable drinks, and they have happy hours seven days a week, which is they double your drink. Uh, you can get the watermelon mojito, which is their most famous drink, or you can get a beer. And yes, even the beer is doubled in size. So this is a great place to go if you want to start off your bar crawl of Studio City and meet with the locals. The Thirsty Merchant, another neighborhood gym. This is a great place if you wanna go with a group of friends because they have games, they have beer, and of course, they have happy hour seven days a week. That means, yes, seven days a week, you can get your happy hour on and get drinks doubled for $2 or an extra drink for $2. I got the Hot Lips, which was like a spicy kind of margarita drink. I also got the flatbread pizza and I got garlic fries. And that is what I recommend that you get as well. It's again, a great spot for friends. They have a lot of games to play on the outdoor patio, foosball, cornhole, uh, free popcorn, Jenga, Simon Says, you name it, you can play it here with your friends and it's a great spot to enjoy the sunset and Studio City. Laurel Tavern, as you can see, it's nighttime, so this is a great spot to get it started with your friends. They have 16 beers on tap, a lot of them from California, so you can get a unique taste if you love beer. Also, if not, they have wine and cocktails. I got the strawberry basil lemonade, which was delicious. I also tried the magic carpet ride, which was a unique flavor. Uh, and if you want some appetizer to start it off right, it is a gastro pub, so their food is delicious. You can actually have dinner here if you'd like. You can start off with a hot pretzel bun, the Brussels sprouts, the grilled cheese, or the garlic fries. You won't be disappointed. This is an amazing spot in Studio City, and it is on the bougier side, so I recommend getting a drink or two and then heading off into the night and exploring, but it's a great spot to start. I look better if I have it on one strap. I don't look so much like I'm a third grader. If you wanted bougie, I got you. We're at Firefly here in Studio City, which is one of the first 
really expensive, nice bars to kind of make their way in Studio City. They actually have been here for over 12 years and it is Michelin star rated, the chef. So you can expect very good food. It's fresh farm to table. So the menu is ever changing all the time. And for drinks, I got the Pineapple Express. And then of course I had to get something from the menu, which I got the beignets. Honestly, this bar looks like a place you could find in Hollywood or Beverly Hills. It's that cute. And the library bar is lined with books and it's a great spot if you're taking a date or you want a romantic night out in Studio City. And as you can see, it's super hidden. You don't even see a sign anywhere. So if you wanted a neighborhood gym that's bougie, I got you. It's right here at Firefly. Mr. O's, this is a new establishment in Studio City, but it's very cool, very trendy, very on point. It's mid-century vibe, so anything Rat Pack, Elvis Presley, Audrey Hepburn, you're gonna love the decor of this place, so it's very Instagram worthy, which is great for your photos. Uh, they also have a superior mixologist, so the drinks are delicious. And they have fruit bowls that you can share, which we got one. The cool thing, Mr. O's was open in honor of, the cool thing about Mr. O's, it was open in the honor of the owner's father because growing up, they always talked about opening up a spot of their own that had a cool ambiance and a neighborhood friendly vibe. That's it, those are the top five bars to visit when you come to Studio City. So make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment, comment below. Let me know any places that you would like me to cover in this SoCal series. And I will see you next time. But before you go, make sure you turn on notifications because I will be posting another video on Studio City giving you the top five dessert places, or top four, it depends on my mood. But I'll be giving you the top dessert places to visit in Studio City so that you know what's popping. And I will see you next time. Stay creative.